Hey guys, so today we're going to see how I turned this sketch into a mural for the Phoenix Mural Project. I'm here at my mural wall. I'm pretty excited. This is my first mural and it's a beautiful day. Um, I'm in the shade, so that's a good thing. Today's Thursday and I'm just down here to sort of prep the wall. It's actually pretty clean. I was expecting it that it would be a little bit more dirty and dusty, but it's pretty clean. I got a little bit of bird poop I got to clean off the wall and then I'm gonna prime it with some some of this guy right here. So that'll give it a good base coat to go on. Wish me luck and then I'll be down here in a couple of days to do the actual design on the wall. I brought down some so I can see, you know, which ones are going to look best in this area, but it's going to be mainly shades of blue and turquoise and shades of terracotta. So, all right, see you in a bit. The Phoenix Mural Project was founded by ASU professor Danielle Fouché as an archive of existing mural art in Phoenix. Danielle and project chair Alexia Bednars have now grown it into an annual festival, recruiting new artists, and this year the walls were donated by homeowners on the Phoenix Grand Canal as part of a neighborhood pride and beautification project for the area. This is in the historic Melrose district of Phoenix, and my mural, along with these others, is in the Woodley Melrose neighborhood with the Grandview neighborhood just to the north of us on the other side of the canal. This year's theme was sustainability, so I chose to do a design based on a previous watercolor painting I made called Like a River. It's based off aerial imagery of the Colorado River near Lee's Ferry and Marble Canyon. I'm glad I chose the colors on location because the light and shade on the wall is so different from the light anywhere else, and I honestly would never have chosen these particular shades had I not been on location. The colors I chose for the mural are much more bold and bright than my original painting because I really wanted it to be eye-catching and make an impact. The Colorado River feeds our canal system and is the vital source of water for Phoenix and much of Arizona, so I figured it fit perfectly into the theme of sustainability.
mean, to me, it's chilly. It's in the 60s, but it's windy and my hands are freezing and the paint is drying really fast. And some of the colors are, for whatever reason, a lot thicker and heavier than the other colors. So like the thicker paint with this wind is, it's getting really gummy and um, I'll show you in a second here. It's really hard to get in these, you can see all this, these little white specks here. It's really hard to get in that and paint across these um, cracks and keep the line even and straight. So those are the challenges that I'm having. Um, the good things about this are that um, I'm really working some new muscles. I'm learning a lot. I think I was pretty well prepared to come out here. And the other good thing is that the the canal here is a place where a lot of people walk and jog and you know walk their dogs and stuff like that. And so there has been so much positive reaction from the community out here and I think that's probably the best part. Everybody everyone's been so friendly and very supportive and you know just shouting at me, you know, good work, you know, stuff like that. So that's really cool. But anyways, back at it and I'm just going to keep cruising here till I finish today, but just wanted to check in.